at the clinic. None okay. of which are in this room right now. They're not gonna. They're not gonna comp that for you. Uh, 752. And then also when you travel, it's a different kind of test that you get. So you can't like get your T-Gen result and go to the airline and be like, hey, I got negative. Because it's like you need a certain type of test result, right? Yeah. Um, 751. Let's head into the KUAM News Link Zoom Room where our good friend Eric Borja, Eric with a B Borja, is uh, standing by. Eric, good morning. What's going on? Good morning, guys. Good morning, my friend. Uh, Eric is, is one of my favorite local musicians. Uh, he is a guy who just... Um, and musicians on Guam know, right? Uh, they know that, for the most part, uh, not going to get rich doing it. They know that it's a life. I know, too, just haven't been malfunctioned, that people want you, they need you, and we use what's called the barter economy, right? Eric, hey, Eric, can you play, can you do some, a couple videos for us, and I'll give you a denancy, or, oh, can you do a song, and we'll give you some McDonald's coupons or i'll get you back when you have something so first of all that's one great thing about eric is whenever we do like a special or any kind of thing where we need a christmas song or you know an easter song or a sobriety song i mean he'd never even never an issue you know what i mean and he'll always give like hey we need one song okay here's four <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah, that, here's a whole ep right yeah we, we appreciate <laughs> that i mean you got great music you kind of for me you feel that real that we always need like a happy-go-lucky island style kind of musician and his songs from you know sin Hogu, we'll play that coming up which is a great it's like tomorrow than english tomorrow than english so you understand what's being said um he's got island pride which is an awesome uh song I mean, he's got so many great songs dude. i love your work and then um you got a new song for us today right on this day mm -hmm. it's a very special day guys eric is celebrating 12 years of sobriety. This is amazing. I mean, guys, you take you take a look around our island. You know how bad it is with the with the drugs, man. It's just at a time where the crime, um, an addiction, I don't know. It seems like it's an all, an all-time high, and a lot of people just feel defeated. You know what I mean? When they're on the stuff, uh, they just feel like there's no way out, and, and they, they feel like they look around, and all their peers are on it, too, and they just need that. One example of someone who was able to beat the demon, and there are many examples of them in our community, but uh, not all of them make music and are as high profile as Eric Boron. So, bro, I, I really get it, dude. It's like you are an example for so many people. Um, I know that comes with a lot of pressure, right? But I never see that on you. I just see you living life, enjoying just a clean, sober life, bro, and you've been doing it for 12 years, and I can't even congratulate you enough, man. Thanks, man. So what are your thoughts as you woke up you know, this morning? Uh, I woke up, I was yawning, I was tired. I'm on, I'm, I'm on vacation right now from work. Uh, but you know, man, the, the demon attacks every day, man. Uh, and it's, it's a constant battle. You know, um, best thing that works for me is, 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 is staying connected to my, to people in recovery and, and not hanging out with people who are, are still using, you know, um, that was the hardest part was uh letting go of the people that i was uh associated with you know and once you can get through that it's all it's it's just maintenance on a daily basis you know and, and uh staying and getting getting clean was the hard part you know uh, going through the withdrawals and 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 um just finding that support you know um support was the the biggest part you know, I, I let go of my old support and found me new support, you know, and um, it's been, it's been manageable for this past few years, you know, just staying, staying, staying connected to the the people that helped me uh, move forward. Right. But then there's that, there's that other side of it, Eric, it's that each one reach one, right? Where you made yeah. it, right? I mean, it's a, it's an everyday struggle for you. You say, it, you know, I mean, it's something you got to do every day to yeah. stay sober and to stay clean. And when you talk about shaking off those old ties, and I think that's the biggest thing on Guam is you get someone who uh, maybe it reaches a point where they got to go to jail, right? Yeah. And yeah. then they come back out and then it's right back to the same people who are doing the same things. And it's so hard because we're on this island. We're all stuck here living together. And it really is hard to like for people who are in addiction to pick themselves up and remove themselves from that that equation where everybody's tweaking or everybody's doing whatever on this side yeah. and they just need 
a whole new slate. A lot of times on this island, they just can't do that because they try. They go to the store. They run into so-and-so that they used to, you know, turn the tube with or whatever, right? And so it's yeah. right back to it. So how do you, what's your word of advice for, for people who struggle to do that, to kind of like turn that new page and to leave behind um, those you know, people? For me, uh, it, it, it was um, it was a struggle. You know, it's. It, I'm not saying it's not impossible. It is possible to get clean. Um, I was one of those people that couldn't. I mean, did not want to do it. I wasn't trying to do it. Um, there was a divine intervention that happened, and 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 the song kind of tells you what happened there. You know, I, I was a. Everybody has their bottom, you know, and and my bottom was going to uh, was getting ready to go to prison, and uh, I wasn't I wasn't willing to do that, you know, and. Uh, um, the judge that I actually dedicated this song to, um, you know, told me, uh, and I, I tell a lot of my stories that <clears throat> the judge gave me one last chance to, to redeem myself, you know, and, and, and change my ways. Uh, if not, then I'll be spending some time in prison. And, uh, for me, you know, I've been to jail a few times, you know, and, 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 um, it's not a place I want to be at, you know, but the addiction was so strong that I still couldn't stop using you know, so there's this thing where we have to find, uh, for me, I was told I had to find my why. Why am I trying to get clean? Why am I doing this and whatever? My, my why at the moment, at that moment was, I didn't want to go to, uh, I didn't want to go to prison. You know, I didn't have no children at the time. I didn't have a family. Um, you know, uh, I had, the, all I had was me. I had no responsibility. I wasn't paying bills. I wasn't, I didn't have, I didn't have rent to pay or nothing like that. And all I had to lose was me at the time, you know, and, 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 uh, you know, for me, for it, it, everybody gets clean on their own, you know, on, 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 on their own, um, <clears throat> on their own path. And, uh, mine was that I wasn't, I wasn't willing to go to prison, you know, and, and the judge told me I needed to change. And, and, um, you know, it, it was, I, I'll tell you right now, I, I don't wish that pain on anybody, but the struggle at the beginning part of my recovery was so, so bad it, it it um man i was i fell into depression because it was like um i was sad i had to let go of something that i loved doing i loved smoking dope you know and getting high and and um you know i i learned a lot from from treatment when i went to treatment and and uh what what inspired me and motivated me to not go back was I didn't, you know, majority of the time was I didn't want to go to prison. I didn't want to spend any time away. Uh, you know, uh, people were telling me there's a way to get out of this. You just got to do this. You got to, you got to, you got to stay connected to the people that are, are in recovery and, 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 uh, find my why. So once I found my why, they told me what I need, you know, they were saying what I needed to do. They helped me to figure out what I needed to do. So there's a why and a what. Why am I doing this and what do I need to do to get there? Well, you've been doing what you need to do for uh, 12 years, man. We're just so glad that you uh, chose to share uh, some time with us on this day that you're celebrating uh, 12 years of sobriety. We're going to jump over to KUAM TV. We're going to play uh, Eric's uh, new song and uh, close out this interview and get to your 8 o'clock uh, newscast right here on the link. We're KUAM FM. I got any Guam on the breeze. KUAM TV. Here we come. Good morning. Good morning, Joe, sir. Morning. It's uh, 8 o'clock. We're brought to you by Pacific Points, Cabo Enterprises, it &E, and Jack in the Box, celebrating 12 years of sobriety, and uh, he continues to do the work in recovery. Eric uh, Borja joins us uh, here. Good morning again, Eric. Good morning, man. Tell us a little bit about uh, this song that we're going to play. Um, this song <clears throat> actually wrote, uh, wrote around uh, 2011. Um, I was getting, um, I just got out of treatment. Um, and, uh, just thought I'd put a song together, you know, for a, a little bit of my journey through, uh, my early part of my recovery and, um, actually incorporated the judge that, that was giving me my, uh, 
my uh, was handing me my fate, you know, my my future in my life, and uh, I got to actually sing this song um, in person to him um, when I went back to California and, and in San Diego on a on a drug court uh, graduation at um, the same place I got I, I had treatment at, and um, uh, the judge was actually retiring. And 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 I was able to sing it to him, and I I I've, I performed it at a at the graduation. Um, just finally got it in the studio last year, and uh, you know, uh, just a little uh, little story of of, um, of my journey, you know, and uh, in recovery. Um, I also wanted just to give a shout out to uh, Jason Burkhart for the production on it, and. Um, to all my friends and family that that support me in my in my uh, in my recovery, and uh, also uh, Kaha for making it possible to record this song, and the the office of the governor um, through a grant that they gave me. Um, you know, let, I'm gonna let the, the let the song uh, explain itself. Right, Eric. So I, not, I really enjoyed making it, man. It I know fun. you did. Yeah, um, uh, I I know we've talked about this song before. Uh, before I let you go, though, bro, I know you see the news every day. There's someone in the news getting caught uh, with drugs, right? Uh, a lot of times, it's the same old names, same old faces. I want you to just, if you could, I'll give you the floor. Say something to those people out there struggling with addiction. Uh, show them that they they can beat it. You know, <clears throat> you know, uh, addiction is. Uh... It's a disease of the brain, and and it's gonna make us think that we can get clean on our own, man. And um, I found out the hard way that I needed help. You know, I get some help, man. Uh, there's places here that you can get help at. You know, uh, Lighthouse Recovery Center, New Beginnings, and uh, you know, if you're younger, Sanctuary is open. Um, it's it's a deadly disease, man. And, and the first step is, is getting help, you know, accepting the fact that we need help and, and you can do it. I have faith in anybody who wants to do it. You know, I was a person who, who didn't want to do it at first, but when I found out what the life can give me of, of, in recovery, I'm addicted to that now, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm safe now, you know, and, and because of, uh, because of that life change, you know, uh, get that support find that find the people who support you and and it's there you just just got to do it thank you eric god bless you. you thank you eric thank you bro <laughs> <laughs> oh boy it's eric Boron. this guy's celebrating 12 years of surprise sobriety guys <laughs> God bless you, Eric. God bless your work. You'll be easy and eat for me today. <laughs> there you go. Eric with a uh, <laughs> Eric with a C, Borja. Uh, and his new uh, song here. Eric, what's the name of the song again? Sorry. No More Freedom. No More Freedom. And you got it right here on the link. Your 8 o'clock newscast is next. Good morning. <laughs>
you go. Hey, Eric, where can people find that uh, song, man? Awesome. I got a lot of comments on my WhatsApp. It's actually uh, available on all music platforms, uh, Spotify, Google, uh, Apple Music, um, YouTube. It's on YouTube right now, okay. uh, free for streaming. Um, anywhere you can find music, there's a whole bunch of different other ones that like um, I uh, subscribe to. So I know uh, some stuff I never even heard of, but it's yeah. out there. Yeah. <laughs> I see it's on Facebook also. It's on Instagram, Snapchat. Is it on Tidal? All that social media. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, Eric. With one click, it's all over. The That's place. it, bro. The technology is <laughs> far yeah. away from uh, burning CDs like we used to back in the day. <laughs> 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 Had to be there, guys. Thank you, Eric. Great, great. All right, man. Hey, guys. Thank you for the support, man. Really well, congratulations saving, uh, again, man. Yeah. 12 years strong, bro. That's awesome. Thank you, brother. Take it easy. Uh, 810, it's Tuesday, January 11th. Let's go ahead and get right into our 8 o'clock newscast here on the link. Uh, KUM TV, good morning. Facebook Live, good morning. The Breeze, good morning. With the very latest for Sabrina Salas, Matt Tanani from the KUAM News team. Good morning, Jason Salas. Uh, good morning, Chris, and good morning, Guam. Thanks for tuning in on 